Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSR, and this tutorial is going to be on Serum. So if you're not signed up or subscribed to this YouTube channel and you're liking these Serum tutorials or any of the other tutorials that we release for free, please feel free to sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSR Toots, that's T-U-T-S. So in today's video, I actually wanted to share with you uh, the two ways to create the vibrato style effect inside of Serum. So I don't know why some synths don't have a dedicated vibrato control and some do. For instance, Massive has a vibrato. Uh, Silent does not. You have to create it with some modulation and Serum is one of those that uh, does not. So it's some people might be put off by the fact that Serum may not have a dedicated vibrato, but you shouldn't be. There are so many modulation options that uh, the two t two ways I'm going to show you in this video are probably only two of maybe like four or five actual ways to create a vibrato style effect. And the reason why I'm saying styled effect instead of just straight up vibrato, because by definition, some of the things that I'm doing, I wouldn't classify as by the book vibrato, but it gets a similar sound. And in certain cases, it's actually more usable in a musical context. So let's get started. So I have the default sound pulled up. Okay, really nice, just one oscillator sound. So first thing you can do is you can take an N an LFO, any of them. I'm just going to be working with LFO one right now because there's nothing on the sound. And you can drop it into your coarse pitch. Well, when you drop a, a an LFO into your coarse pitch or into a lot of different areas like right here, let me turn this up. Uh, let me remove this and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll go remove all modulators. Drop this back onto the wavetable. You'll see right now, it's I can modulate in either a positive or negative direction, right? And if I do some, uh, if I do a, a key command on the keyboard, I can now modulate in both a negative and positive direction with the depth of the modulation, with you know just moving the the depth around. Well, unfortunately, with this, when you drop an LFO onto your course pitch, it automatically will modulate in both positive and negative values or depths and you don't want that for vibrato it gets too crazy so what you need to do is after you drop it on hold down shift and alt or option and click did you just see that change i'll do it one more time so watch this blue little uh line i'll zoom in as i do this all right there it is in uh so now it's by bipolar depth and we'll, we want to do a just a you know one direction just unit unit depth and again it's shift alt click right so I want to just move it in positive values. So I'm going to turn it down to about five for now. So if I play a sound, we'll have this. Okay. Now you could keep it on this kind of triangle shape and just turn the depth or the you know the the amplitude here down. And it helps. To, I I think it helps to turn the rise, delay, and smooth up just a little bit. So let me play a chord. All right, and then you can, of course, you know, change the depth of the course pitch that you are modulating. So that, that's definitely a vibrato sounding effect. But if you go to your folder here in the LFO, I really like, I went through different shapes to see which one I liked. I really like this slight movement one. I, th I think it works really well for vibrato. So let me let me remove this modulator and... I will then take this and just redo the process so you can see it. So we'll bring this back down to zero or off. I'm going to drag and drop this up here. Shift, Alt, Option, click. So it's just a positive direction of modulation depth. And let's try it and see what we get at about six. See what I mean? That's a very musical sound right now. Okay, so there is the first way you can do it. Take an LFO, get the shape, the the depth, or the rate, rather, dra drag and drop that modulator into your course pitch, and then make sure it's just in a positive value of the modulation depth. Now, let me, we'll do a uh, initial preset here. Another way you can do it is you can go to your effects tab, or your, sorry, your uh, matrix tab, and you can select, we'll do, uh, let's do mod, let's do actually, we'll do LFO one for this. Turn up the amount just for now. And you can go to your global and do master tune. And 
and then turn down your your depth of your LFO and then adjust the rate to taste. And you get a similar style effect. Again, I do like this uh, slight movement shape even when I do this method. So there is the second way you can do it. And now I want to show you an interesting way that you could do with either method uh, where you could, here we'll, we'll assign the mod wheel to this aux source now. Now my mod wheel will control here. The amount of the LFO you're hearing. Now with the first method that I showed you, if I go, we'll initialize this preset, go back to here. I will select this uh, miscellaneous slight movement shape, drag and drop on my course pitch. Make sure it's positive value. All right, sounds like vibrato to me. Let's go back to our matrix. And now uh, I can do the same thing, mod wheel on the aux source, and then do a, a mod wheel over here. And then we'll go to LFO, LFO one rate. So now this will speed up and actually ramp up as I use my uh, mod wheel. So the mod wheel down at zero. Watch how slow this is moving. It's barely going anyway. So it won't, it won't be like a vibrato right now. But as I move my vibrato or my uh, mod wheel up, So there's how you can control it with your mod wheel if you so choose. If you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out ADSRsounds.com, head on over there. Tons of great things production related coming out every week. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.